Hi, this is Charlie. Let's take a quick minute to just make sure we understand how to create an, um, a brand new repository on Bitbucket. <clears throat> so we'll go up to Bitbucket and we'll choose to create a new repository and we'll call it the prog272 underscore Calvert um, repository. Let's see, it's all small letters, no caps. And you don't need to do this, but I'm going to append the year on it because I need that information in mine. We'll make it a private repository. We'll have it be a Git repository. These are nice, but we won't do it for this. The issue tracking in the wiki language, maybe we're JavaScript oriented. Um, so let's just go with that for now. And we'll go ahead and we'll create the repository. I, I want the wiki. So we're going to create the repository <clears throat> and we, we, cre we create it. And then up here, they say, I'm starting from scratch and it tells you how to go about doing that. So we'll go ahead, we are starting from scratch. So we'll go ahead to our command line here. And there's all sorts of informa interesting information. We'll go into our Git directory. We'll make dir prog 272 underscore calvert underscore 2015. And then we'll change into that folder. And then we'll type git init in order to initialize the folder. And then let's see what else do they want us to do. They want us to add this so that the repository knows where to send, where to talk to. It needs its origin. So we're going to go ahead and define that right now. And we just paste that text in there <clears throat> and press enter. And now the origin is set to the URL of our repository on Bitbucket, okay? And then we want to put something in our repository. And so we'll echo, um, one thing we want to have is a git ignore file. So we'll echo node modules into dot git ignore, which is the name of one of the files in our repository. And we'll also echo charlie into readme.md. So now we've got, if we do an LSLA here, you can see we've got three fold. One is our folder, which was the git init that created our dot git folder. Then we the get dot git ignore file, which we created and the readme file that we created. Then we can go back and look at our reference again. And then it says we should go ahead and add our work here. So we can do git add dot git ignore and git add dot readme. Another way to have done that would have been just git add period would have done added all the new stuff in there. Then we can do a git status. We can see there's our two new files. So git commit dash m initial commit and then where it tells me that I need to configure my repository. So we type these statements up here. We type git config dash dash global. You see I'm just copying what they wrote up above and then I type in my email, okay? Charlie at foo.com, okay? And then we're going to also do the same thing. So I pressed up arrow to get back to that line and I'll change it, Charlie. And I'll say, um, this is winter at home, which is sort of the name of this machine, uh, Calvert, so that I'll always know where the repos where my comments come from. That'll show up in my commits. And um, <clears throat> so then I ran the commit again to make sure that it happened. And then I do git status and it shows me I'm ready to go. I'm ready to push my stuff up to the repository. So now I just follow this last line here.
and I paste that in and now it tells me, well, we don't know anything about that particular machine, that particular location, Bitbucket, do you trust it? And we go, yes. And um, then it tells us it's unhappy because we don't have a key in the repository. So let's fix that problem. <clears throat> if you go up to Google and you search on SSH um, on elvenware.com, you will find this page and in it you'll find this link to SSH between machines with authorized keys and you'll find these two lines of text and you could simply copy them and paste them in here. Um, first you would want to go to your root directory so do CD and press enter to get back to your root directory. Your root directory is your home, in your case it would probably be home BC user and or whatever the name of your account is. And then I'm not actually going to use, I already have actually that key, the key that's called IDRSA. So instead I'm going to have a slight variation on that text. This is going to create a key called IDRSA02, okay, which is a slightly different key, um, but there's no difference. I'm just pasting in slightly different text than you all will. And that does it right there. And now there'll be a folder created on your system after that called SSH. And inside of it, <clears throat> there will be an, um, these two files, the IDRSA in your case, in the IDRSA pub. This machine's already been used, so there's some other files in it, including the one we just created, which is the IDRSA 021. And now we can open up in Genie, ID, in your case, RSA, in my case, 02.pub. We'll open that one up, and then we'll just block copy the entire public key. We'll block copy it. So I, you know, I right clicked on it and I choose to copy. I'm, I'm copying that thing. And then we'll come back up here to Bitbucket. We'll go over here to manage account and we'll come over here to the SSH page and we'll choose add key and we'll call it winter Charlie at home key. And we'll just paste it in there like that. Add 2015 to it. <clears throat> the label doesn't make any difference. It's the key that matters. And you can see just now we've added that key in there. Okay. And now that it's in there, I'll come back here. I'll go back into my Git. Prog 272. Calvert folder, and I'll try again that command that didn't work so well last time. The git push u origin master. And this time you see it worked because we had our SSH key in there. Now we can go back up, look at our repositories. Here's the most recent one, the one we just created. And now if we look at the source, you can see that there's our git ignore file. And there's our readme file and the git ignore file has that one line in it. Okay. So that's it right there. That's just all I wanted to show you. Make sure you understood the basics of how to use, um, create a repository from scratch in GitHub. Thank you so much. Bye now.